What would you do for an unboxing? Ha! <laughs> Alright guys, it's your boy DeAnthony from Break Room Blitz coming back at you with another unboxing. So I'm excited. I'm starting, just starting to do this and I definitely like it. I'm excited. Because, uh, you know, these are mystery boxes. We don't know what's going to be in here. Sometimes they give us spoilers, but you don't really know. Alright, so before I get into this, so I just came back from seeing Split in the movies. Uh, M. Night Shyamalan. Thought it was a great movie. Check out our review on that this weekend, guys. Check it out. You're gonna you're gonna like it. We're gonna have a, a non-spoiler version, and we're gonna have a spoiler discussion that is just gonna blow you. It's just, it just really is. So check that out this weekend, guys. Now let's get back to this loot crate. Loot crate, baby. Got some loot up in here. Feel kind of heavy. It feel kind of heavy. Feel feel kind of heavy. All right, so let's get into open it. Let's check it out. See what we got up in here. Uh, damn, where are my keys at? Got them. So y'all know I ain't got no knife. I use keys. So all right, let's open up this box real quick, real quick. So I think the actual theme was origins. So I figured it's January, just start of 2017. So. It must be something great. They're going to start the year off great. So let's see. Alright. Open up the box. This is what you guys are going to see. Booyah! What's that? Superman? From 1937? Uh, yeah, probably. This is Superman that couldn't, that couldn't fly. Did y'all know Superman could not fly? He could just leap, bounds over skyscrapers. Did you know that? If you didn't know that, now you do. Just a fun fact of the day. Alright, so we got a shirt. We're going to go ahead and put this to the side real quick. Uh, we don't got no literature or no uh, pins or patches. So, alright. That's that's different. It's my first loot crate, so I don't know if they do pins or patches or not. Alright, so we're going to get right into it. So, first thing, look like Ninja Turtles. Y'all cannot see that. So, I'm going to go ahead and put the picture up so y'all can see it. Um, but... <laughs> Yeah, Ninja Turtles. Uh, let me see. We got Geeky Tiki's. I got a Geeky Tiki. Wow. That's so funny. The, the, the names that they come up with. We got Geeky Tiki. We got Wizard Wear. Like, nerds are just genius, aren't they? So let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Boom! Oh, it's a um, toothpick holder. Uh, but it really is a shot glass. Go ahead and take it to the, to the head. Uh, uh, I don't drink, so, but you know. Y'all know what y'all be doing. Uh, yeah. Ninja Turtles. Shot glass holder. Alright, let's see what else we got up in the box. Put the box up here so y'all can see. I'm, I'm digging out the box and not like just getting random stuff from a bag. Alright, so we got the first Avenger, Captain America, 1940s Captain America Shield. 1-6 scale. Let's see what we got. See what we got, guys. Let's see if this, if this is going to be awesome or not. Oh, we got his little, he's all, you know, at attention. Yes, sir. <laughs> Cons, you probably would love this if you did get it. Oh wow. Ooh. Alright, so you Oh wow. Wow, that's metal, guys. Oh, can we I don't know if you can hear that, but this this is metal. Wow. This is nice, yo. He even has the little uh handles on the back that you would put his hand in, like ah blocking you. Ah Wow. This is nice. I like this. And it's real metal, too. So it comes with a stand. Let's check out this stand. Put that down real quick. Real quick, you know. Open up this bag here. Alright, so it has like its own little easel. It has like a little easel. I guess we're going to just... Connect that like so. Boom. Got, got us an easel there. You can see it now. And then we just pop our 
awesome shield in there. Uh oh. There we go. And it holds it. So then boom, put that on your desk. That's that's some nice that's a nice shield right there, yo. That's some nice paraphernalia. I like that right there. Put that on my desk. Tell me I ain't tight. Tell me I ain't tight when I got this on my desk. You wish you wish you had this on your desk. Or you wish you had a desk. Sorry. I don't mean to offend nobody. Nobody. But this is awesome, guys. This is really this is really nice. I like that right there. Alright, alright, alright. Got the origins going on. Alright, what else we got? What else we got? Oh, there's our patch. We got our patch. Sorry, guys. It was underneath everything. We got a patch. Ninja Turtles patch. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Turtles on a half shell. Turtle power. Oh. Should I not be singing that? Am I too old to be knowing that song and singing that? I like it though, so. Turtle power. Alright, what else we got? Now, this is what I was hoping for. This is exactly what I was hoping for when I saw Origins and then they had like the Superman comic like uh, cover. I was hoping we were going to get a Superman comic. This is one of the most expensive comics that they have. I'm sure this is just the cover and not the real thing. Let's see, we got a little car certificate of authenticity. Huh. What does that mean? So, this was the cover of the 1937 first issue of Superman. Now, I've never actually got to read it. I don't know. I'm kind of emotional right now because I feel like I got a little bit of history right now. I don't mean to, to seem down, but... And maybe I, I could be wrong, but this looks like the original comic book and from 1937 oh 1938 guys I'm wrong I feel like they created him in 37 the comic book came out in 38 sorry 38 1938 I'm like I don't know I feel I don't know I feel weird guys am I am I tripping for feeling like this for getting a piece of history I feel like I don't know like I'm 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 with the people who were reading in 1938. I don't know. It just, um, this is what I wanted. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be, I'm a little emotional right now, guys. <laughs> okay. I always wanted one of these. I always wanted what? <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I ain't that emotional. But, it says DC Comics certifies that this is an authentic reprint of Action Comics number one, volume one, featuring the first appearance of Superman. The special edition reprint is the is exclusive to Loot Crate. What do I do with this? I don't even want to touch this. I don't even want my hand shouldn't even be on this. Like I need like plastic over this, you know, guys. But this is one of the most expensive comic books that there is, guys. Uh, you won't be able to get no print from this. So th for this to be in this book with the uh, seal of authenticity here, guys. Like, wow, wow. Luke Craig, you deserve a hand clap. You deserve a hand clap for that, guys. I, I, man, and we still, we, we, we're not even done, guys. So, oh man, let me like gently put this down somewhere. Um, wow. So we got some literature from Luke Craig. All right, let's get into this T-shirt. See what we got, guys. See what we got. Da -da -dun -dun. Da -da -dun -dun. Da -da -dun. What is that, Mario? The original since 1981, baby. I like the shirt. It's a good shirt. Good quality. Knocked over the box, dang. 
But anyway, good quality. I like that right there. That's a good shirt, guys. Man, um, I like I like the look rate. I I I I'm, I want to be all energetic and stuff, but I'm I'm a little. I don't know. I'm emotional, but excited at the same time, guys. You ever felt that? You ever felt that? Like, oh my gosh, I got. I've never read. I've always heard it's a number one. It's one of the most expensive comic books ever. Uh, you know, it was the first one he was ever in, 1938. Uh, you know, so you hear all this stuff, and it's like history. And honestly, Superman is one of my favorites. One of my favorites. Uh, so, even though they be doing them dirty in the movies and stuff, that that dude weak in the movie. In the movies, he just ordinary man to me. He's not. He's not super. I don't know. They just keep doing them kind of dirty. Now, the last Superman movie was pretty good, but. Other than that, I ain't even really feeling them. So wait, anyway, let's do some recap, guys. Honestly, with the reprint of the authentic copy of, you know, Superman issue one, or Action Comics issue one, is there anything more to be said? Like, it's worth a thousand dollars. This whole crate, a thousand dollars. No, I'm just playing. All right, let's get into it. Let's see what the actual, let's see what it's, what it's worth. Oh, you know what? Echo. How much is Action Comics number one? I wasn't able to understand the question I heard. She ain't good for nothing, boy. Hang on my phone. Let me see. D. This. So, a legit original action comic number one sells with $3.2 million. So, let's just say if it's, if it's this reprint, it's a, it's a, it could be a million. Can it be a million? This crate worth a million, guys. We're done. We're done here. It's a million dollar crate. You should have. You should have got it. You missed it. You missed it. And you should have got it. No, but let's see what a reprint would be. All right. So for a reprint, I found that we got anywhere from ninety-two dollars to one hundred and seventy-nine dollars for a reprint. Now with this card of authenticity or certificate of authenticity. I don't know how much more it would be, but I'm gonna say it's $135. $135. We're gonna go $135. And we got this Ninja Turtle. We got this Ninja Turtle um, toothpick holder. Um, toothpick holder for the kids. And then for the adults, we got this. We got this shot glass. Shot, 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 shot. Oh, sorry. I, I, Honestly, you know, shot glass, even though, you know, it's a Ninja Turtles, um, I'm probably just going to give this $5. So we got $140, guys. $140. And then we got our Captain America shield here. Honestly, I would probably pay 20 bucks for it, you know, if I had to really... Because it, it's it's metal, guys. It's metal. It's it, you got an easel that goes with it, so, you know, easels aren't cheap either, so... We got an easel, we got the shield. Let's go with 15. We'll go with 15. So we got 135 plus 15. That's 150 plus the three dollar or the five dollars. So 155 guys. I would say the box worth 155. You guys let me know. You guys let me know what you think. Do you think that this was a great crate for originals? This is how we start off, you know, the new year 2017. Like I really think that that was a good crate. Um I can't. I mean, I don't know what else I would say about it. It's it's a really good crate. I like everything in it. So let me know, guys. Do you think it's a it's a, a, a crate worth having? Do you think it's worth uh, 155 or or not? I'm gonna say 155, but you guys be the judge. All right, leave me a comment, like, share, subscribe if you like my videos, guys, and let me know what you think. And check out our other videos. We do movie reviews, show reviews, and other tour reviews, guys. So check us out. I'm your boy D'Anthony, and I'm out. Peace.